Popped on it and those things go from zero to fast in no time. Didn't know how to stop and shot out into the road as soon as a tanker was driving past and the tanker drove over his uh, belt line. It was September 19th, a freak accident, and six-year-old Caleb Clausen is crushed by a semi. His skull fractured, his future extremely bleak. We were told by our neurologist and another doctor that Caleb's never going to eat on his own again, he'll never breathe on his own again, and he'll be stuck in a vegetated state the rest of his life. Caleb remained in a medically induced coma at a Peoria hospital for three weeks, but from the beginning, this little central Illinois superhero bucked every odd against him. Should we get another bite? A month after the accident, eating on his own while healing from 11 surgeries to repair his broken little body. Among the laundry list of injuries, two broken femurs, a broken pelvis, his fractured skull required three surgeries alone. There were chest tubes and breathing machines, a lot of prayer, and milestones no one thought possible. And a lot of love from their community back home in Walnut, Illinois, more than two hours west of Chicago. Family and friends rolled up their sleeves, raising money to help this family of six with medical expenses and child care for their other three children, so Caleb can remain the focus. I don't like it out here. We caught up with the Clausens right before Christmas at the Shirley Ryan Ability Lab in Chicago, where Caleb spent four weeks working on his speech, his eating, and his strength. Yeah, it's incredible. Yeah, I think he's he's come a long way. Whoa, look at that. He's really been working on um, a lot of sensory play right now, so he's kind of all of these new sensations and everything are coming to him. Um, so he's really liking to touch and feel and crunch and, um, you know, all of the different sensations are really interesting to him right now. And just 94 days after an accident, no one imagined he would survive. Ready, Max, get set, go. go! Caleb rode a bike and for the first time walked again. A lot of doctors could tell that Caleb is very stubborn and he always has been and they said that that actually played a huge role in his recovery. The next day, Caleb left Chicago, headed back to Walnut with an escort along the way. His small town of 1,500 lining the streets to quietly welcome the beloved family back home. In time to celebrate Christmas around their own tree. And while Caleb still has a lot of recovery in front of him, he is expected to fully recover. We were told by an educator here that she has every reason to believe that we will be getting our old son back. He's definitely our miracle child. <laughs>